1.3 stoichiometry learning outcome at the end of the lesson you should be able to a write and balance chemical equation by inspection method and write and balance redox equation by ion electron method b define limiting reactant and percentage yield and c perform stoichiometric calculation using more concept including limiting reactant and percentage yield so what is stoichiometry stoichiometry is a quantitative relationship between reactant and product the most important thing in stoichiometric calculation is balance chemical equation balancing chemical equation chemical equation is a shorthand expression for a chemical reaction the reactants are written on the left side and the product on the right side of the equation. Look at the general equation given. So X A react with Y B produce Z c and w d so actually x y z and w are stoichiometric coefficient stoichiometric coefficient refer to the number that we use to balance the chemical equation A and B are reactant, whereas C and D are product. To balance the chemical equation, we have two methods. The first method is inspection method. And the second one is ion electron method. For the lecture, we just cover for inspection method only. To balance the chemical equation by using inspection method, we need to follow a few steps or rule as a guideline. The first step is write down the unbalanced equation and remember write the correct formula for the reactant and product. Step 2 balance element or atom okay to balance element or atom first we need to balance the metallic element first next followed by non metallic atom or element after that, balance the hydrogen and oxygen atom. 
tag three. Check to make sure that the total number of atom of each element is the same on both sides of equation. Let's try the step for example one. So according to the equation given, ethane react with oxygen gas to produce carbon dioxide and water. So remember, the first step, we need to write unbalanced equation. So this one, unbalanced equation. Make sure you write the correct formula for ethane. C2H6, oxygen gas O2, carbon dioxide CO2, and water H2O. Okay, that is first step. Second step, we need to balance atom. So we need to balance metallic atom first, followed by non-metallic atom. So in this case, there are no metallic atom. So we start with non-metallic atom. Okay, so non-metallic atom is carbon. So let's start with carbon atom. So you need to count number of carbon atom on left side and right side. For the left hand side, two carbon atom and right hand side, one carbon atom. So we need to balance carbon atom. To balance the carbon atom, we need to write 2 in front of CO2, carbon dioxide. Next, balance hydrogen and oxygen. So left hand side, the number of hydrogen atom is 6. Right hand side, 2 hydrogen atom. So to balance hydrogen atom, you need to write 3 in front of H2O. So we get 6 hydrogen atom on both sides. Okay, next, balance oxygen atom. So on the right hand side, number of oxygen atom is 7. Left hand side, 2 oxygen atom. So to balance oxygen atom, we write 7 over 2. So we get 7 oxygen atoms on both sides. So we get balance equation for the reaction of ethane with oxygen gas to produce carbon dioxide and water. Okay, step 3. Check to make sure the total number of atom of each element is the same on both sides. So, left hand side reactor, right hand side is product. 
So for the reactant, four carbon atom and product four carbon atom. Reactant, twelve hydrogen, product twelve hydrogen. And then reactant fourteen oxygen and product fourteen oxygen. So total number of atom on both side are equal. So that means we get balance equation. Example 2. The reaction of aluminium with sulfuric acid produces aluminium sulfate and hydrogen gas. Step 1. Write unbalanced chemical equation with correct formula. Aluminium Al Sulfuric acid H2SO4 Aluminium sulfate, Al2SO4-3, and hydrogen gas, H2. Step 2. Balance atom. So, aluminium is metallic atom. So, let's start with aluminium. So, on the left-hand side, 1 aluminium atom and on the right hand side two aluminium atom so to balance aluminium on both sides so we need to write two in front of AL next balance non metallic atom sulfur in this situation sulfur and oxygen can be balanced together as a unit because it is polyatomic ion but if you have if you have any problem to identify polyatomic ions, you can balance sulfur and oxygen individually. Let's try to balance sulfur and oxygen together as a polyatomic ion. On the left hand side, 1 SO4 to minus ion. On the right hand side, 3 SO4 to minus ion. So to balance SO4 to minus ion, we need to write 3 in front of H2SO4. Next, Balance hydrogen. On the left hand side, six hydrogen atom, and on the right hand side, two hydrogen atom. To balance hydrogen atom, we need to write three in front of H two. Step 3, check to make sure the total number of atom of each element is the same on the both side. So reactant, left hand side and product right hand side. So for the reactant, there are two aluminum atoms. 6 hydrogen atom, 3 sulfur atom, and 12 oxygen atom. For the product, there are 2 aluminum atom, 
six hydrogen atom, three sulfur atom, and twelve oxygen atom. So the total number of atoms of each element on the both sides are equal. So that means the equation was balanced. Exercise 1. In 2 minutes, balance the following equation. Your answer. Balance the following chemical equation. 